So today we're going to continue with the question I asked yesterday, which was, how do you know you're thinking what you think you're thinking, which is really just a fancy or complex way of asking, how do you know your thoughts are authentic? They really are what they appear to be. But today we're going to apply that to feelings. So how do you know what you're feeling is what you feel you're feeling, which is again, just to say how authentic are your feelings? Well, we're going to see the thoughts and feelings are connected by using the most popular theory of emotion out there. It's called the two factor theory. The first factor is physiological arousal, absolutely necessary for emotions to happen. And this is arousal in the nervous system. So your heart has to be beating fast. You have to be sweating. Something has to be going on in terms of that fight or flight response. The second component is thought itself, a cognitive label, an interpretation of that bodily emotion. So if your heart's beating fast and you're sweating and you look down and you see a lottery ticket, you're going to be happy. If you look down and see a speeding ticket, you're going to be mad or anxious, uh, you know, more negative emotions. So the emotions are totally dependent on the cognitive label that's given to that arousal. Now, the reason this is important is because yesterday we were piercing the illusion of thought. Here we're going to do the exact same with emotion because emotions are thought along with some bodily arousal. So what you can do is take a day not even it take an hour. Actually, you don't, don't even need an hour. You could take five minutes because even in a short span of five minutes, you'll be so many emotions will, will be experienced. And really, which, which is to say so many thoughts will simply define different emotions during that five minute period. And what you can do is with each emotion, maybe it's an irritation or maybe it's a little bit of happiness, uh, whatever is happening, uh, see if you could point to it. Where is it? Where is it coming from? See if you can actually use awareness to illuminate that thought, that cognitive label. See if you could find the, the labeling process itself, which is really interesting because that's like, can you become aware of thinking? And I've done other videos on this. But what you'll find is this, this process of becoming the observer of the thought, which is contributing in this case to an emotion, you realize you're not the thought. And that gives you just enough space to um, become the observer of the thinking rather than being caught up in it and believing that you are, in this case, not just the thought, but the emotion that is a result of that thought.